sound. I know I have. And I pray that each and every soul here, each and every heart here has heard that joyful song. Oh, Jesus. And if you haven't, then it's time to repent at the foot of the cross and tell them, Dear Lord God, I give myself unto you, Jesus. I humbly give you my heart, my soul, my body, my mind, everything, every, every strength that's within me, Father, I give unto you, Jesus. Change my heart, oh God. And Father God, mold me and make me and shape me into the person and, and man that you want me to be. In Jesus' name, dear God. Oh, we pray for the outpouring of the Holy Ghost today, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Jesus saves. Amen. We heard the joyful song. Let's sing that. Amen. As soon as Duane is through taking the offering, we will get into the Word of God. We're going to sing a chorus first. But it is good to see all of you. And I know, I'm not guessing here, I know that the coming of the Lord is at the very doors. I have no doubt. Amen. And I hope that your faith will be reinforced by the time you leave here today. One thing I can tell you for sure is don't make any long-range plans. <clears throat> okay, praise the Lord. Shall we take a moment and pray for the offering? 
Father in heaven, we thank thee, Lord, for thy many blessings. We thank thee, O God, for this offering thou hast brought forth. We dedicate it to thy service and for thy work, giving it cheerfully unto thee, Lord. I pray, O God, that thou wouldst help all of us to do all that we can in reaching out personally to others as well. O Lord, let our voice be heard and let the gospel be brought forth in truth. And we ask it in Jesus' name through the power of the blood. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. All right. All right, we're going to sing that chorus. We're going to sing the chorus. We're coming out of Babylon. We're coming out of Babylon. We're coming out of Babylon with a joy in our hearts and a song down in our souls. We've taken our harps down from the willow trees for the Lord our God has set us free and we shout praise God for victory and we magnify the Lord. We're coming out of Babylon. We're coming out of Babylon with a joy in our hearts and a song down in our souls. For we've taken our harps down from the willow trees. For the Lord our God has set us free and we shout praise God for victory and we magnify the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand praise this morning. <clears throat> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Well, as I said moments ago, I don't even know how to express what I feel this morning. I feel an urgency that I've never felt before. I realize that we have been preaching about the coming of the Lord for a long time. And we know that He will return very soon. I am looking forward to that day. You know, the voice of the church is even so, come Lord Jesus. Amen. We look for His coming. But I'll tell you, it'll be different than any of you are thinking it will be. You know, the prophet Isaiah cried out one time and said, Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens and come down. I don't know, it seems like people today want to be patted on the back like they're pretty good people. And I'll tell you this, the best of the people in the world today are rotten to the core. That's right. Amen. Amen. The fact is, we all need Jesus Christ. Amen. We all need his salvation. Nobody is saved without the blood of Jesus. Nobody's saved with a church membership. Nobody. We need the Lord personally in our lives at all times. And I look at the signs of the times. In fact, that's what we're going to call this message this morning.